and now to the death of former NFL superstar Junior Seau and why it could be a warning to parents of teen athletes across the country. Seau's death is being called an apparent suicide and experts say it could be linked to head injuries from all those hard hits he took on the field for all those years. ABC's Paula Ferris has so much more. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Robin. These traumatic brain injuries affecting at least 1.5 million young athletes over the past decade, according to the CDC. The Seau's death is following a pattern of high-profile suicides by professional athletes, but his family says that this came without warning. No suicide note, only a text message that said, I love you. Not much. A future NFL Hall of Famer and a father of three has apparently taken his own life. And this morning, his family is struggling to understand why. He never said something for me. Judah, hey. Why are you never telling me you going? And I pray to God. Take me, take me, leave my son alone. Pro football legend Junior Seau was found dead Wednesday morning by his girlfriend after police say he shot himself in the chest at his Oceanside, California home. Those closest to the 12-time Pro Bowler, including former teammates, say they didn't see it coming. We were, we were there for you, man. Like, we knew you were a superstar. We knew you were a super person, but come out and tell us you needed us. Seau, who played in the league for 20 seasons, could now be the third former NFL player to kill himself in the last 14 months and would have five over the last seven years. Many of those suicides, experts believe, may be linked to repeated head injuries sustained by playing a sport that's so violent it's been described as like being in a car crash. You can't take head injury head impact out of football. Even with the best helmet, you're going to have a, a head that's moving quickly that stops suddenly, and that's a bad thing. In 2010, Seau denied he was trying to commit suicide when he drove his Cadillac Escalade off this cliff. He survived the 100-foot plunge, but the crash came just hours after he was arrested for allegedly attacking his then-girlfriend. But those who knew Seau best are remembering him as a leader, not only on the field, but in his community. I pray to God, please, take me, take me, leave my son, but it's too late, too late. So tough to see a mother grieving for her child. Just this morning, TMZ reporting Seau's family is not blaming football for his death. But if you remember when former NFL player Dave Duerson shot himself in the chest last February, he left a note for his family specifically asking that his brain be studied. And that research proving he had been suffering from a degenerative disease of the brain. His family said it was, quote, eating at his brain, and he just didn't know how to fight it. Robin and Josh. All right, Paula, thank you. Mm. Josh, you and I cover sports many yeah. years at ESPN, and knowing that he shot himself himself, Junior Seau, in the chest, it makes you think again of Thurston. There certainly does seem a, a link, and one of the players that Paula spoke of, Ray Easterling, mm -hmm. another involved in that class action lawsuit against the NFL, shot himself two weeks ago. His widow says that he too suffered from depression and insomnia and dementia, and in shooting himself again, uh, he, in committing suicide, this is now going to turn a very bright light on this uh, on this class action lawsuit, if somebody like Junior Seau is linked to this, a modern day player, a modern day player, and a beloved one yes. at that, it is going to change the game entirely. Interesting note: Junior Seau never once listed as having suffered a concussion on mm. an injury report throughout his career. Right, and Josh. by the way, a bright light, he will be missed. Uh, love that guy. Thank you. Okay, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.